Hi Scorpio, it's your honest homegirl K Shanique and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Take what resonates, what doesn't resonate, leave for another healing homie. Um, I'm only here to tell you what it is and what it ain't so you can elevate, right? Um, how I do you, my readings, I do your intuitive message first and then I get into your actual honest talk and tarot session. Um, so Scorpio, a lot of you guys have been putting in a lot of work. Okay, you've been putting a lot of effort into something, uh, whether this is school, whether this is a child, whether this is, um, I'm hearing a brand new idea, some type of something that was a hobby that you're trying to turn into a paycheck. For others of you, this is you investing a lot of time into learning something new. Okay, I feel like for a lot of you, you may have had some type of argument or misunderstanding with um, to other people, with your child, um, the parents of your children, the other parent. For others of you, this could have been a work situation where you got into a dispute with coworkers. Um, I'm seeing about your child. Maybe you had to leave work. They didn't want you to leave work, but it had something to do with your child. And you was like, fuck out of here. I'm going to my child. Fuck this job. I don't know. Um, for some of you guys, this... I feel like whatever you're investing in, it has your emotions all over the place. Or whatever you're trying to invest in, it has your emotions, like, involved somehow, some way. Like, your emotions are heavily involved in anything that you're putting effort into. Okay, so maybe, you know, you've been trying to keep this poker face about, you know, every how, how things are going, okay, um, when it comes to work, when it comes to your love life, when it comes to the children, when it comes to your relationship, when it comes to how you feel about your job and your coworkers, some of you could have really told people how you really felt about them and they ain't like it and it hurt their feelings and you probably stung their ass, but I feel like they may have deserved it. Um, for others, of, especially if you've put in a lot of work and people are looking at you, like looking down on you, like you ain't on a level, but it's like you do more work than they do. Like, so who do you think you are? And you had to really put people in their place and let them know what it is and what it ain't. Okay. Um, for others of you, you are having, you have this energy within you that you can change things. You literally rule death and rebirth. You have the Midas touch to change whatever it is that you want. You want to kill something off and, and start anew, <laughs> burn it to the ground and rebuild it. You get what I'm saying? Like you can do that, Scorpio, and it will work out in your favor. OK, a lot of you guys could be looking at things at night or you guys may like have things that glow in the dark in your room or you may want to or you may have found out that something glows in the dark. Maybe your shirt or maybe I don't know, you maybe have a bracelet on or maybe you got a party with them parties where they got them glowing dark stick things going on and you just having a good old time. OK, Um I'm, I'm hearing magical moments so be prepared to have magical moments uh because whatever it is that you're trying to invest in things are going to start flowing for you okay you're going to reap the benefits of the things that you've been working so hard for and you could have been working really hard and dedicated to your craft dedicated to school dedicated to certain things that you may have been very abrasive I'm, i don't even use the word abrasive but you could have been very harsh to, to some people because you were under a lot of pressure because of work, because of school, because of business, because of whatever. And it's like you've been putting on this poker face that you're calm, cool and collected about everything. But you had a lot going on that, you know, needed your attention and your effort and your time and your energy. And it was like you're just short with people because it's like, listen, I, I don't have time to tell you sugar coated fairy tales right now. Any other time, I'd be able to sit down and be empathetic and show some type of empathy. But right now, I got things to do. And right now, it ain't you. Okay? Um, for others of you, you could really be um, been trying to work hard at a situation 
when it pertains to love and it's not working out in your favor you've been trying to manifest this ideal relationship and it's with someone or just in general having something like that this ideal partnership but you're not trusting the process it may be delayed right now because there may be some things that you need to work on on yourself so that you don't fuck up the relationship that you've been actually praying for okay um a lot of you guys when you get into relationships it's like you're unable to plan like you're supposed to you're unable to navigate like you're supposed to you're it's like you get caught up in the moment of the relationship so much that you forget to do what it is that you need to do for you so spirit probably has you held back from relationships for a while because you need to focus on something with you get that together and then you'll be blessed with what it is that you want and the ideal relationship doesn't always have to be love it could be the ideal partner the the ideal investor the ideal friendship like whatever partnership it, it may be it could even be with a sponsor that's going to sponsor you in some way shape or form okay or you could become an influencer and you sit there and you're starting to promote these products but the thing is you want to align yourself with what is right for you okay if that makes sense but if that resonated so far with you, so Scorpio, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And um, it really helps my channel grow, and I appreciate it. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know if it resonated with you. If it ain't resonated with you, I don't need to know that. It, then it just didn't resonate with you. Try next time or try the previous timeless videos that I've made because everybody's on a different timeline, okay? Some of the stuff has already happened for some of you guys if you've already put in the work and the effort and you're actually getting the ideal relationship now. You're finally reaping the benefits of your hard work. For others of you, you're in the midst of it. And some of you, it's going to take a while because you still got some lessons to learn. Okay? I don't know why I felt like the need to share that with somebody. Yeah, we got changes coming. Elevating. You could have been telling people how you feel because it's like whoever you work with, they may not like the fact that you were promoted. I'm hearing demoted. Somebody could have got demoted and you got promoted and they don't like that. But the thing is, if you put in the work and the effort to get to where you are, why are you hating? You need to do just as much work as me, if not more, to beat me. I'm hearing you can't beat me, huh? <laughs> you probably said that to somebody or you was thinking that in your head, like, whatever. Okay, but I do feel like you are going up the ladder. It's you against you. You're not worried about anybody else. You're just worried about you doing what you need to do. And if you have any cancer in your natal chart, especially like sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Mars, go check out that cancer reading because cancer had a bunch of wolves and sheep clothing around them too. And they were being blessed for a lot of things. Okay. So be mindful of that. People could be literally hating you, hating on you, trying to cause arguments and fights with you. Yo, cancer got these same two cards. I'm telling you, if you got cancer in your chart and you have Scorpio in your chart, spirit is spinning the block for you heavy, okay? You're about to be blessed in front of your enemy's eyes and that is going to be your justice your karmic justice people try to beat you down people try to do the crab in a barrel effect and keep you with them stuck with them and you're going to be blessed you probably even had visions of this and didn't think it was a vision for you because maybe some of you guys are very intuitive and you know you have prophetic dreams and you may have dreamt of this happening for somebody else but really it was meant for you and the reason why you woke up thinking that dream wasn't for you because spirit didn't want you focusing on that spirit wanted you to just put in the work because you was going to get it anyway some of you be careful of fighting please be careful of fighting somebody may want you to fight them somebody is some type of altercation or you may have foreseen somebody getting into a fight and going to jail be mindful of that or you may have known yeah for some of you guys you're you have 
male ancestors protecting you. Even with these people doing what they're trying to do. Yeah, see? Cancer. If you got cancer in your chart, go watch that reading. Please go watch that reading. Some of you, your son could have gotten into a fight at school. And that's why you had to leave work early. If your son knows how to do karate or they deal with nunchucks or, so, or anything. Oh my God. You've probably been trying to work on this child's behavior. And I'm hearing, but people were picking on them. Somebody was picking on them. This is why they are, they've gotten to where they are now with, with basically whooping somebody's ass or you whip somebody's ass because somebody's been, they were picking on you. They were picking on you. I mean, we're picking on them. And they utilize their talents, their gifts, which is karate or wrestling, or whatever they know how to do. They put it on them people. They, they put yes, they did. Your child put hands and feet on somebody, but it was it was justified. It was justified. Your child may even be a cancer. Your child may have cancer placements. But either way, somebody was hating on somebody, and justice was served. You like I said, you may have known this, or you may have had an intuitive feeling about it, or. You, you had a dream about this. Like you had some type of idea, some type of forewarning about these situations that were occurring, Scorpio. Some of you are being advised to move away. Like, so if, for instance, if this is you as an adult, right? And it's not your child. Um, Cause I'm hearing, don't be afraid to back down. Um, I'm getting like the 48 laws of power type of energy you don't you want to let people underestimate you okay don't let people know everything that you know don't don't let people in on everything that you're doing okay you never out i'm here never outshine the master so even if it's your boss don't overstep your boundaries with this person i want to keep getting read the 48 laws of power that's that I don't know why I'm telling the Scorpio that because y'all guys could utilize it in the wrong way because that's a very manipulative book if your intent is to do something else. But if you know it, because I feel like there's people doing this with you, they're using the 48 laws of power with you. So you need to know the 48 laws of power so that you can be have some type of defense, some type of counteractive response um, because you know exactly what these people are doing with you. Uh, I do see too, if you need to stand up for yourself, you stand up for yourself because you have a male ancestor here that taught you not to be nobody's punk. Don't not, don't be nobody's bitch. Don't sit there and, and be nobody's yes man and uh, don't allow people to sit there and pull you down with them. You stand up for yourself. You speak your truth, but you do things in an honorable and respectful way. This way, when you when people when people start talking, they can't say nothing bad about you. Because you handled things the way that you were supposed to handle things. That's another thing in 48 Worlds of Power, talking about your reputation. Don't let nobody tarnish your reputation. Something's going to be justified and you're going to be able to move on with your life. You're going to be able to move forward from this situation. This ancestor could be a cancer as well. They could have been the one that forewarned you. They could have literally been in your dream telling you about this situation, showing you the situation that was going to occur. You could have a five-year-old son. If something happened to your child, you're... Justice is definitely going to be served. Excuse me, I was just yawning. And I don't even know why. I was over here drinking this energy smoothie drink. Don't mind my role. 
I just ate. So my stomach's sticking out. <laughs> you could have been telling somebody that. Like, don't mind my room. Or you could have been rubbing your stomach. I don't know. Uh, or this, something could have happened to you when you were five years old. Okay? And it's like justice is finally being served on what somebody may have done to you. You may have had to wait. It may have taken five years for, for, for justice to be served. It could have took almost five years, five months, five days, five weeks for something to, to balance out. Something had to clear out in order for... It's kind of like whatever you went through... Your ancestors were working on the other side to balance things out, to fix things for you. Cancer season may be the season that you're going to be able to move physical location, move from another job, move to some, there's movement, possibly cancer season for you. When is that? July. Yeah, I think it's July. All right. So things are going to move forward for you. So don't worry about it. But you got to trust the process, okay? You can't be doubting stuff. Certain hiccups are going to come. Ups and downs are going to come throughout your journey. But you, it's how you handle things with grace is what determines how fruitful the outcome will be for you. It says change is good. It keeps your ass from being stagnant. So yeah, something had to change. Something had to happen in order for things to start flowing in another direction. It says what you believe is your truth. So if you believe that it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. And if you believe it will, it will. Okay. A lot of you could be dealing with mommy issues. Okay. And that could, could have been the change. Maybe you got into an argument with your mom about your children or you know, you got into an argument with your child. Like, it was like the mother and the child, your mother, your child, and then versus you type of energy, okay? Um, but the thing is, it was like whatever came out in that conversation needed to be said, needed to be heard, so that change could occur, okay? Let's get an oracle message. I'm hearing that you see things clearly now. Some of you, I kid you not, I think, was it Leo that got this? Or was it, can it was Leo or Cancer? I think, no, Leo got this. Leo got this card here with the healing heart. So you could have been dealing with a Cancer. You could have been dealing with the Leo energy. But there, in Leo's energy it, reading, it was more so about reflections of how your child is nothing but a reflection of you and how um, your inner child, your adult self is a reflection of your inner child. So even if it has nothing to do with your actual physical child and it has something to do with you, um, how you're acting and behaving as an adult is what's going on with your inner child and those are things that need to be healed within your inner child because you went through something maybe at the age of five and it's actually exuding out of you now and it may not be something that's great for you as an adult maybe you would have got a pass as a child but as an adult you're not going to get a pass for that and that needs to heal so as uh, as the adult you're being the adult that you needed the parent that you needed for your your inner child and that's going to help you move forward okay a lot of you are great healers okay and as you heal you heal other people so continue doing the work look good things to come okay you have to wait for your prizes and you're going to get them it's a story of my life here too your beautiful things are coming to you you just had to go through a lot of tough lessons first you had to go through a lot of hardships first because now you're going to really appreciate and value and, and know the value of things now. 
and you may have had to wait and it's a, i'm hearing a long time coming but it's here now for you boom okay i love you guys don't forget to like subscribe and share see you later